uh, ladies and gentlemen, in my physics for B classes, all courses. Uh, today I'm going to talk about last section or last part of chapter 27. Uh, it's about connection of resistors. We can connect resistors to each other by two methods. Method number one is called series connection and method number two is called parallel connection which it will be in the second page. Uh, imagine we have many resistors like R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 goes to the end. <coughs> We want to connect these resistors to each other. So what can we do? Look guys, one way is this way. That just uh, connect hand to hand like this, which you saw it in the lab, in the coil lab. Do you remember it? In resistivity and then connect all the system to a battery like this okay this is called serious connection this is called serious connection what is that mean that's mean is hand to hand like this becomes positive this is negative this is positive this is negative positive negative positive negative so positive is connected to negative negative is connected to positive this is called serious connection we have another method which it's like this is resistor one it's positive this is resistor two this is also positive this is negative this is negative so if you connect positive to positive negative to negative and also let's say another resistor this is r3 positive to positive negative to negative then total system connected to a battery you see positive of battery connects to all positives of resistors and negative is connected to all negative of resistor this is called parallel connection <coughs> excuse me this is called parallel connection now you see what is differences in parallel connection like two peoples they dance tango they take the hand hand right it's like tango dancing parallel connection but what is serious connection it's it's hand I'm taking the other person hand he's taking the other person hand he's taking like they make a chain and so this is like a chain you know and uh, finally they all together make one closed circuit of course in parallel connection is is closed circuit but the way that we have connection in series is different with parallel okay so i'm going now uh, so the the purpose of this topic is actually uh, you know what if we want to make a circuit with many resistors this is not make sense why it's not make sense because uh, i can i can have one resistor instead of these like four or five or ten resistance resistors instead of these resistors i can have only one resistor then i can make my circuit what of course smaller you know yeah 
So this will be converted just to like this positive, this negative. I am going to have only one resistor instead of this. Or on this one, I can have positive, negative. Instead of these three resistance, I can put one resistor. Make sense? Guys, this, this resistor, it's called equivalence resistor or resistance. Some books they show by REQ. Okay. That means is equivalence or final resistance. And some book shows by RT, total resistance. So either works. Anything you want, you can go total resistance. Okay. I go with RT or REQ. Doesn't matter. But RT is easier to write it. So, I am going to talk about serious connection. So, my goal is uh, what resistance I have put, I have ordered, I have buy it instead of these four resistors to occupy less space to make circuits smaller, you know. So if we want to make circuit like this, of course this, uh, we need to buy four resistor. We need to spend more money. But if I can find the equivalence resistor of these four resistors, for example, then I will buy only one resistor. I will spend less money. I will spend less room, less space. My circuits will be smaller. Then I can make what? Small circuits and small electronic devices. Make sense? So this is our goal. So I'm going to make new pages. So here is serious connection. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, therefore, I can say if I have resistor one, then I have resistor two, then if I have resistor three, for example and resistor 4 and the third and if I connect all of these system to a battery let me make better this one correct so this is positive the longer one the shorter one is negative <coughs> So, I want to find equivalence resistance. Watch, guys. Pay attention, please. This is a battery, okay? When it is battery, battery gives you electric field. And that electric field, as we know from chapter 26, uh, it's force. And also, that force makes electric current, I. Okay? So, Imagine this is the source of power, okay? So source of power, then we open the gate. So water flows inside the wire, then goes, correct? So the electric current that goes through this resistor, it's I1. Then electric current that goes through this resistor is I2. Then electric current that goes through this resistor is I3. Okay. So what I am going to have, I am going to have actually this resistance 
flows through R1, correct? Because of the uh, charge is conserved and current is charge per time, correct? So your input is equal with your output, therefore same amount of current will go out, then will go in into I2, then will go out, then will go enter into R3, then it will go out. Okay, so same amount of water, maybe it goes slower, but total charge is constant, total current is same. Therefore, here we can say I1 is equal with I2 is equal with I3 and it's equal even with I4 and that is equal, of course we have more, with I. What is this I? I will write IT. IT means is total, total current. Okay? And this V is VT means is total voltage. So when 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 resistors are connected by series connection, what do I see? I see that currents are equal. Amount of current that goes through I1, it's same through I2, it's same through I3, and that is same with the current that comes out from your power supply from your source. Okay. Now, guys, remember Ohm's law V equal what? Ri. Remember, resistor has three names. First name, middle name, last name, or first, middle, last, or last, middle, first, doesn't matter, order. Resistor is we have to find three quantity for resistor. What is that? Resistance, voltage, and current. So here we have resistance, it's R1, I1, and also we must have what? V1. I2, V2, R2, I3, V3, R3. So we have to find three quantities for resistor. What is that? Resistance, current, voltage. Resistance, current, voltage. Voltage, current, resistance. Doesn't matter the order. So, what is voltage then, guys? If I do V1, total voltage is summation of the voltage. Again, this is by Kirchhoff's role also. The total voltage of the components is equal with the total voltage of your source, which total voltage in one closed circuit is zero. So V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4, it's same as what? V total. This is very important. Remember, when they are serious, currents is equal. Currents through each resistor is same. Don't forget this. So remember, my goal is resistance, finding resistance. And also, I know by Ohm's law that V1 is equal what? R1, I1. V2 is equal what? R2, I2, correct? V3 is equal what? R3, I3. And same thing, what about V total? Is R total, I total. So far makes sense? We know this. <laughs> now, if I use this equation, 
if I use this equation, pay attention here. Instead of V1, can I put R1 over I1? What do you think? Uh, what? No, sorry. I did a mistake here. Instead of V1, can I put R1 I1? Plus, instead of V2, can I put R2 I2? By Ohmsla. Instead of V3, can I put R3 I3? And plus blah blah. And instead of V total, can I put R total? I total? Yes? Yes. Let me change the color. What color do you like? I go black. Therefore, watch it. R1 instead of I1. Is I1 not same with IT? Yes, it is. R2. I2, it's same as what? I total. What about R3? Sorry, I3. It's same as I total. Equal RT IT. So far good. Now, can I factor with I total here? On the left side will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5 plus the the third equal r total i total yes therefore what do i see guys can i cancel this it with it yes so i am here what do i get i get this what is your R total? It's R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 to the third plus equal to the end plus how many resistors we have. So this is actually R E Q, which I call it R total. Okay. Therefore, what I see, I see this. If if resistors they are connected by series connection together, if we want to find equivalence or total resistance of those resistance, just add them like simple algebra, like 5 plus 6 plus 8, whatever. That will be your total resistance. Make sense? For example, if you have something like this, let's say this is R1 equal 5 or R2 equal 10 O and R3 equal 20 O. These are all connected to what? To, for example, let's say 50 volt. All right. Question says, uh, find, find what? Current and voltage across each resistor okay let's say this is v but it is v total because that's your total uh, source 
So I see R1, R2, R3. Oh, okay, it's like this. It's hand to hand. It's not like tango dancing. Uh, so I will say, you know what? R1 is, is serious. This means is serious with R2. And that is serious with... Oops, sorry. This is R2, not RS. R2. And that is serious with what? R3. Oh, okay. When they are serious, what I have to do? Very quickly, guys, watch. You, I suggest you, whenever you see something like this, don't read question. First, your goal is finding total resistance. First, your goal is finding equivalence resistance. Find that. Here, I see only one battery. It's not multi-loop, correct? Therefore, I will say, okay, our total will be what? R1 plus R2 plus R3. Therefore, our total will be R1 is 5, R2 is 10, R3 is what? 20. So, your RT, total resistance will be 5 plus 10, 15. 15 plus 20 is 35 ohm. This is your total resistance. Listen, when you did that, you are trying, remember, to make your circuit smaller, correct? So instead of these three, I put one resistance, which is our total. And it is 35 ohm. And your battery is same. Nothing change. Correct? This is positive, this is negative, and it's V total, which it is 50 volt. So far makes sense. Remember, one circuit, for one circuit, you have to find three names, three quantities, R, V, I, V, I, R. I, R, V, whatever. Now, here, in this circuit, you have resistance. You have resistor. You have voltage. So, you have R. You have V. But you don't have IT. You don't have total cur current. What is IT? Okay, I can find it. Oh, what is equation? VT is equal what? RTIT. Make sense? Therefore, IT will be VT divided by RT. VT is 50. RT is what? 35. Which if you do 50 divided by 35, the answer is 1.42. Is that right? Yeah. 1.42 amp so it is 1.42 amp circle your answer so here it is 1.42 amp does it make sense now look guys in this circuit you f you have three names first middle last last middle first whatever okay you have r you have v you sorry you have r you have v you are, have i Done. Okay, now, when you're done with this circuit, with the small one, you have to go back on the main one, on the previous one. Pay attention here now. So I write by green color. Each resistor must have three names first middle last r v i okay this circuit already we found first middle last now let's go here guys 
these three resistors they are connected by series connection when they are connected by series connection tell yourself ask this question when they are series when resistors are series okay ask this question what is equal what is equal answer it oh when they are series we saw when they are series connection what quantity is equal currents okay then i will say okay i want the current that goes through this the current that goes through second one the current that goes through third one i1 is equal with what i2 it's equal with what i3 that is equal with i total so it's equal oh we know i total watch what is that it's 1.42 amp correct so we found i1 how much is i1 1.42 amp how much is i2 1.42 amp how much is i3 1.42 amp correct did you get this now first made the last oh we have first name for r1 we have middle name also for r1 oh what is third name which it's last name let me go by blue what is v1 then what is v2 then what is v3 okay you know ohm's law what is v1 r1 i1 therefore how much is r1 5 how much is i1 1.42 then what is the answer 5 times 1.42 the answer is 7 point one volt okay so i'm gonna write this one seven point what one volt what is v2 r2 i2 i want you to pay attention please r2 is 10 what is i2 is 1.42 answer is 14.2 volt oh is 14.2 volt what is v3 will be r3 i3 so 20 times 1.42 the answer is 28.2 28.4 correct yeah Twenty-eight point four, yeah. So V three is what? Twenty-eight point four. Oh. Twenty-eight point four volt. Now, the amazing thing is this. Watch it. Uh, if you remember, when it's series, total voltage is summation of voltage of each component. Okay, just, you know, we check the circuit, we check our result. If I do 7.1 plus 14.2, 7.1 plus 14.2, plus 28.4 my answer it has to be 50 it has to be 50 but it's not it comes like 49.7 49.7 why we do have differences because i did not put more decimal points if i go with more decimal points of course i will find yes like if you do 50 divided 35 it's not 1.42 make sense it is 1.42857 it goes so if you if we put 
all of those of course we will get very close to 50 so our circuit this conclusion is completely correct make sense i hope you got this so far uh, so this is what we got for series connection and this is the example of series connection so far okay so i go step by step slowly not too hard problem suddenly then you will learn it all right now let's go on parallel connection as i explained it to you guys the parallel connection is this for example if i have what's wrong with this okay this is r1 okay and then this is r2 and this is r3 and now i connect you know what let me do this one better okay and then total system is connected to battery this is v total okay when they are series connection i'm sorry parallel connection at this time guys look at here this battery gives me so this is like a river it gives me total i it total current then here i have like branches so the water comes and then split to two sections so one section goes to here so let's call it i3 then then one section goes to this branch let's call it i2 and one section goes to where this branch let's call it i1 so what we can say here by conservation of charge the law of conservation of electric charge we can say your total input is equal with your total output so my input is it my output is i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 plus i have many it becomes equal with what i total okay But what is happening for voltage, when they are connected by parallel, the voltage of, for example, this resistor, because it's same, it's connected to the voltage of the battery, the voltage of this resistor, it's same with the voltage of battery. The voltage of second resistor is same with the voltage of battery. The voltage of first resistor is same with the voltage of battery. So we can say V1 is equal with V2, is equal with V3, is equal with V4, is equal with the others. Finally, it's equal with what? V total. Now. Look guys, so when they are parallel, this is the parallel symbol, you know, just two parallel lines. 
when they are parallel, ask this question. What is equal to voltage? When they are series, where is that page? When they are series connection, what is equal currents? When they are parallel, what is equal voltage? When they are series, what is equal currents? When they are parallel, what is equal voltage? Okay, now, now we know V1 is what? R1, I1. V2 is R2, I2. V3 is R3, I3. And V total is what? R total, I total. Okay? Therefore, guys, I can find, because summation is on I, I can say I1 is V1 over R1. I2 is V2 over R2. I3 is V3 over R3. I total is V total over what? R total. Okay? Therefore, let me use black color. So, here I can say instead of I1, I go to substitute V1 over R1. Instead of I2, V2 over R2. Instead of I3, V3 over R3. Instead of V total, sorry, I total, V total over what? R total. Now, what do I see here? The voltages are equal, so I can factor instead of all of them, I can put VT, then I can factor also. So it will be 1 over R, 1 plus 1 over R, 2 plus 1 over R, 3, plus the third, equal V total divided by what? R total. Am I right? Now, what I see, I see this V total with this V total gone. So my equation, my final result become as, becomes this. What is your total or equivalent equivalence resistor? It's 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus the third. This is when they are parallel connection. So don't forget, when they are parallel, what is equal? voltages when they are series you see where is that when they are series what is equal currents look at the equation when they are series or total you need just to add it like 5 plus 6 plus 10 blah, blah, blah. when they are parallel you have to inverse them you have to reverse them flip them and then add them together and then find our total. Then we will find what? Our total. So you need algebra here. Let's do one example. So let me start it with simple example first let's say we have three resistor i give this one 5 ohm this one 10 ohm and this one 5 10 15 ohm okay and then i connect total system to voltage is 60 volt for example question is this below figure below circuit below circuit 
find voltage and current goes through each resistor okay as I said you don't need to read question whenever you see something like this you have to find our total I total and V total this is your goal you have to make your circuit smaller make circuit smaller and smaller shorter and shorter shorter compact circuit okay so I'm going to write by blue color So now, watch guys. Of course, this is I total. Then some part goes here, I1, some part goes here, I2, some part goes here, I3. Remember one thing when they are parallel, what is equal? Always ask this question. When they are parallel, what is equal? Oh, voltage. When they are serious, what is equal? Oh, currents. Okay, when they are parallel, what is equal? Voltage. So R1, R2, R3, they are parallel. So I can say V1 is same as V2, is same as what? V3, it's same as total. Okay, it's done almost. So it's 60 volt. So I can say, uh, you know what? then v1 is how much 60 volt then v2 is how much 60 volt then v3 is how much 60 volt okay correct now let's let's find resistance one over RT becomes what? Will be one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. Therefore, one over RT becomes one over five plus one over ten plus one over fifteen. Pay attention here. It's simple algebra. One over RT. I'm going to take common denominator between 5, 10, 15, 30, right? 3, 0, 30 divided by 5, 6, 6 times 1 will be 6, 30 divided by 10, 3, 3 times 1, 3, 30 divided by 15, 2, 2 times 1, 2. So, 1 over RT becomes... 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. Over 30. Pay attention here. Now you have to flip your answer. Our total becomes what? 30 divided by 11. Therefore, guys, your RT is how much? If you do that, 30 divided by 11. Answer is 2.72727. So I go with... Uh, two digit 2.72 oh 2.72 oh correct therefore my circuit watch it becomes this instead of these three circuit three resistor I'm gonna put only one RT is what 2.72 oh your voltage is 60 And what is your I total? Do we have it? 
No. I can't find it. IT is what? RT? Sorry. VT divided by RT. Therefore, VT is 60 divided by 2.72. So the answer becomes 60 divided by 2.72. 22.05 amp. This is IT. Correct? Now remember, we found actually this. For each circuit, we have first, middle, last. How about here? This resistor has first, middle, we don't have last. Okay, but we can find it. How? I know that I1 is V1 divided by R1. So V1 will be is 60, R1 is 5, answer is 12 amp. So this I1 becomes how much? 12 amp. I2, answer will be 60 divided by 10 is 6 amp so this i2 is 6 amp i3 is 60 divided by 15 answer is 4 amp so i3 becomes how much 4 amp Now I do have I do have actually all my quantities for each resistor. First, middle, last, first, middle, last, first, middle, last. Does it make sense? So this is solution of this problem. Now, give me three minutes break. Come back. I'll do another problem.
question says below circuit find current and uh, voltage across each resistor again it's first middle last for each resistor okay so here guys we can do these problems by Kirchhoff's rules like you can take a b c d e f then take two path uh, and because you have one battery you know in the Kirchhoff's rules equation examples uh, we have multi loops here we have also multi loops it's two loops we have and over there also we have like two batteries in one circuit three batteries in one circuit here we have only one loop one sorry one battery uh, and i want to do it by series and parallel connections so i want you to follow me please and come with me let me make this one a little smaller okay so what we see here look we have to uh, look at the circuit carefully and try to make your circuit smaller and smaller and smaller more compact by using parallel connection and series connection look at the circuit always from end of circuit from I mean from uh, not from battery side from end of battery so if battery is here the end of the circuit compared to the battery is this section correct now I can start to use series and parallel connections what do you think what do you see here watch guys i cannot say r3 is series with r2 r3 is series with r2 no it's not why because this junction makes problem it doesn't let me to say that r2 is serious with r3 or even parallel but what i see here i don't have junction between r4 and r5 so i can say r4 and r5 they are like this they are connected hand to hand, one hand to another hand, you know. So in reality, R4, R5, they are like this. R4 and R5. Okay, so I'm going to start it. I will say, you know, okay. So let's start it. I will say R4 is series connection with R5. Okay, watch it. Then when they are series, instead of those two, I can put R4, 5. So don't call it 45. That's mean is instead of R4 and R5, I can order one resistor which I call it R45. You can call it R prime. You can call it different things, but you know when you call 45, that means is it's just for O fourth and fifth resistor. So yeah, don't want to make you confuse. Okay, so when they are series, guys, what was the equation of series connection? Oh, we will just add resistor. So it's R4 plus what? R5. 
therefore our 4 plus 5 will be what? 4 plus 5, correct, which is 9 ohm. R4 is 4 ohm, R5 is 5 ohm. So I gave you everything by uh, order just to make it easier. Listen, every time when you are finding equivalent of resistors, you have to draw your circuit again. So it's long process. Watch it. So this is 20 volt, correct? Therefore, I am going to have, this is R1, which it is 1 ohm. This is R2, which it is 2 ohm. This is R3, which it is 3 ohm. And then instead of these two, I will put only one resistor, R, R what, 4, 5, which it is 9 ohm. Did you get this so far? Now again, I will restart it again. Okay, watch it. Uh, what I see here, guys, at this time I see that R2 is parallel with R4, 5. R2 is parallel. See, these two, they hug each other. R2 hugs R5, like they dance, tango dance, correct? When they are parallel, so instead of these two, I can put equivalent of those two, will be R245, okay? Therefore, therefore, I can write when they are parallel, R2 plus what? R45. So, R245 equivalent of those two will be 1 over 2 plus 1 over 9. So if I do this, 9 and 2 will be 18, 18, 9, 9 will be 11. Therefore, R245 will be 18 divided by 11. You have to flip it, 18 divided by 11 will be 1.63 ohm. So far good. Now, instead of these two now, I am going to make my circuit smaller this is battery this is r1 is 1 ohm this is r3 is 3 ohm and instead of these i'm gonna put r245 which is 1.63 okay what do you see here now guys I can tell you, I can tell you that R1 is series connection with R3, it's series connection with R245, therefore when they are series connection, and here is uh, 20 volt, correct? When they are serious, you need just to add them, look. So instead of these three, which is final, I'm going to put R total, which is equivalence of R1, R245, and R3. So I will just add them, R1 plus R3 plus R2. 
two, four, five. So this will be one plus three plus one point six three. So our total will be what is that? Three, four, five, right? Five point sixty three. Ohm. Therefore, my last circuit is this a battery, correct? And one circuit, sorry, one resistor, which this is our total, is 5.63 ohm. This is V total, which it is. 20 volt okay remember first middle last oh what is it will be vt divided by rt so will be 20 divided by 5.63 answer is 20 divided by 5.63 3.55 Amp. Therefore, I can say IT is 3.55 Amp. So, this is what we have done so far. Okay. Now, So I made my circuit small and then smaller and more smaller, correct? Now guys, every circuit must have first, middle, last. On this circuit, which is the last one, we have all three quantities. First, middle, last or last, middle, first doesn't matter. Now I go with blue color. When you done with this, you need to go back on the on the previous one. Find first, middle, last for each component. You done? Go back on previous one. Find first, middle, last for each one. You done? Go back on that one. So I have one, two, three more resistors. Okay, ready? So I'm writing by blue color at this time. Now here, what I see, these three resistors, they are serious. Ask this question. When they are serious, what is equal? Currents. Oh. So I1 will be same as I3 will be same as what? I245. And that will be equivalent, that will be equal with total current. So amount of current total is 3.55. So 3.55 goes through R1, goes through R245, goes through R3. So that is equal with, so you will use the data of this one in finding of quantity in the circuit. So I1, it's same as I3, it's same as two, I245, and that is equal with I total, you know, the total resistance of equivalent of those the answer is what 3.55 so what i have okay i can say now i1 is 3.55 i3 is 3.55 and i 245 is also 3. Point what? 5, 5. Did you get this so far? Now, remember, 
every component, every resistor must have first, middle, last. Okay, R1, I1. Oh, I can find V1. I go with the red color. Oh, I can find V245. Okay, and I can find V3. You know equations. What is V3? It's R3, I3, correct? What is R3? It's 3, I3, 3.55. 3 so if you do 3.55 times 3, answer is 10.65, yeah. Answer is, oops, 10.65. Volt, so this becomes 10 point what 65 volt. What about here 1.63 times 3.55? Answer is 5.78 here. Make sense? Volt, what about here? V1 is R1, 1 times I1, 1 times 3.55 is 3.55 volt. Make sense? So I want you to pay attention. Look, in this com in this circuit, we have first, middle, last, first, middle, last, first, middle, last for each component. Done. Now we will use some of these data in finding previous one. Now we go here. Make sense? So look, from the last one. I go back to the previous one, then from this one, I go back to the previous of this, then I will go from here to this one. Let's see. Now, what I see here, I see that uh, R2 is parallel with R45. Okay, when they are parallel, look guys, when they are parallel, all right, already we have R1, I1 we have it, V1 we have it, R3. I3, I do have it. It is uh, 3.55. And also I have V3, which it is 10.65 volt. Now I have to work on R2, R4, 5. R2 and R4, 5, they are parallel. Okay. When they are parallel, oh my gosh, what's happened? Okay, when they are parallel, look guys, when they are parallel, what is equal? Voltage. So V2 is equal with what? V45. The voltage of these two, the voltage of these two are equal with the voltage of equivalent of these two. So the voltage of these two is equal with the voltage of equivalent of these two which it's v245 so it will be 5 point what 7 8 volt very quickly right here v45 is 5 point 78 volt and right here v2 is 5 point 78 make sense when you're done with that, 
Now you need to find what? I four five. Now you need to find what? I two. Therefore, uh, let me go by blue color. So I two will be V equal R I. I will be V two over R two. What is V two? It's five point seventy eight divided by five point seventy eight divided by two. So it will be five point seventy eight divided by two, two point eighty nine amp. So I'm gonna write I two is two point eighty nine amp. And what is I four five? 5.78 divided by 9.64 yeah 0.64 amp correct yes let me write it i45 is 5.78 that's v r is 9 answer is 0.64 amp so for good now look in this circuit we have first middle last first middle last first middle last first middle last we have everything correct now when you done you will go and we go by green color to this one Okay, almost done. Uh, okay, R3. Oh, I do have I3, which is 3.55. I'm just transfer all of this here. I do have V3, which it is. Uh, what is V3? I don't see. 10.65 volt. I do have I1 which it's 3.55 amp I do have V1 which it is 3.55 volt I do have R2 I2 which it's 2.89 I do have V2 which it is 5.78 now I don't have R4 and R5. No. Okay, look. Let me go by uh, what color? By uh, gray. Now I'm going to work on these two. R4, R5, they are what? They are serious, okay. When they are serious, very quickly, tell yourself, R4, R5, they are serious, correct? When they are serious, what is equal? I4 currents. It's same with I5. That is same with equivalent of those two. What is the equivalent of I4? Four and I five, it's I four five. What is I four five? It's here. Look, point sixty four amp. So I four is point sixty four amp. I five is point sixty four amp. Okay. If you have first middle, you can find last. So I go with with uh, red color. Therefore, what is V4? V4 will be R4, I4. So R4 is 4. What's wrong with this? I4 is 
the answer is come on four times point sixty four two point fifty six two point fifty six volt so write it here v four is two point fifty six volt correct and you can find also what v5 if you multiply 5 times 0 0.64 times 0 0.64 the answer is 3.2 volt it's done watch it it's done why because we have first middle last first middle last first middle last for each for each component and question says below circuit find current and voltage across each resistor we did it i suggest you when you done with these kind of problems it is okay if you don't but it's not bad you know like you can make a something like this right here r v i then you know it's good for you then right here r1 r2 r3 r4 okay r1 is uh, 1 ohm r2 is 2 ohm R3 is 3 ohm, R4 is what? 4 ohm, correct? What is V1? Uh -oh. It's hard to see. What is V1? It's 3.55. What is V2? It's 5.78. What is V3? 10.65 what is v4 2.56 oh we have r5 r5 is 5 oh what is v5 3.2 then i1 3.55 i2 2.89 i3 3.55 make sense i4 0.64 i5 0.64 see these will tell you everything does it make sense yeah so please redo this problem please redo this problem at the beginning it's not easy maybe it takes one hour but it's okay you will learn it then the second time that you do it it will take 20 minutes then third time that you do it you will know it will take 18 minutes okay now this problem please do it as quiz number seven correct this problem do it as quiz number seven and due date send it to me is right now this Tuesday Wednesday Thursday April 2nd okay at
5 p.m. Until 5 p.m. you have to So do this problem, send it to me. So very simple. You can see this is actually more easier than the first one. Very easy, very easy. So you see R3, R4, R2, they hug each other. That's all. I'm not going to tell you more. So work on it. Send it to me. It's Thursday. Okay. Email me if you have any questions. I don't know. Let me see. 